when all of a sudden being uncomfortable becomes a game of what's next, uh, then then you have no limits, right? Uh, we, we're limited by our sense and desire to be comfortable and and uh, cared for, but really no one comfortable and cared for has ever really achieved much. It's only through adversity, both physical and emotional, that that you really get to know who you are. was a year of challenges for the sake of personal growth. 2019 was a year of challenges for the sake of personal growth. Did I say that? Did I get all that right? But mainly personal growth. So what happened in 2019, you ask? I'm, put, like, I'm put, pointing at you. Are you asking? I would love to talk about myself. Is this okay with my hands? Does this look strange? I couldn't think of a better place on planet Earth and down here in Puerto Natales, Chile, as I have to yell because this big truck's going by, standing in front of this beautifully, just wonderfully convenient uh, cargo ship here to drive home the point that I mentioned in January of 2019. The phrase shipwrecked in a voyage of self-discovery always kind of keeps coming back to me. And I find that this is no better metaphor for that very phrase. Yeah. That's what 2019 was, edgy angst, just butt fucking my discomfort and uncomfortability into submission. Consensually, of course, right? Because we don't want to, I don't want to put that vibe out there. It's Jason now what? Not Jason, fuck you, regardless of whether or not you want me to. In 2019, I moved out and got my own apartment. It's really exciting. I got divorced, which is actually pretty well documented on this channel, on Valentine's Day, which was a first for me, um, not the divorce part, but the getting divorced on a uh, quasi-major holiday. A holiday of love, ironically. <laughs> I don't, I'm not bitter about it. Committed to twice a week therapy. I also took a new lover. Started a new relationship with a long distance element. Also a first for me. Not taking a new lover, I've taken plenty of lovers. Just with a long, not when I say plenty, it's just, you know. I'm 40, I've had a couple of... I'll go to the next thing. I flew down to Columbia, not South Carolina. Columbia, the country. Uh, I fell in love. I fell hard. I just fucking crashed. Everything was happening all around me. Nice to meet you, my name is Pearl. <laughs> oh, okay, so we'll, we'll start there. I hatched Operation Butterfly. FNA. I visited Las Vegas. <laughs> Which keep in mind, um, I'm terrified by the physical act of traveling, specifically flying, and boats. Again, ironically that I'm standing out here. I walked away from a career that I had been in for 18 years. This is a deep one, right? So I want to like look off into the distance. Here's what I'm doing today. As of 7.04 a.m. on November 7th, 2019, I'm driving all by myself to my job, to my office, and I'm going to be giving a one month's notice to resign. Well, what are your thoughts, right? Give me something. Uh, it truthfully doesn't feel like my last day. It feels like I just have tomorrow off. I feel a lot of things, many things. Terror, fear, <laughs> eyes, love. <laughs> Most of you have no idea what I did for work, so I'm gonna show you a little taste of that right now. Currently, if you're keeping score at home, which I hope you are, I am unemployed. I ended the year moving, although I don't currently have an apartment or a house or even a cool camper truck van to call my own. So all of my major furniture is moved. After moving, I executed said Operation Butterfly. Executed, like it's a fucking person I'm beheading on camera. Got on three flights, came back down to South America where I currently am, pretty much at the bottom of the world. And in between flight number one and flight number two, I reached out to my father for the first time in, ooh, I don't know, almost 15 years. Met with him for a quick beer and a snack in Miami before coming down here because I thought, what the fuck? You've already sort of done everything else in your life and picked up the pieces in other areas, so why not kick the tires on having a relationship with one of my parents that I have never had? So at this point, I'm not really sure if 2019 owes me a drink and 
I might just go full bathrobe, jelly shoes, and relax in 2020. I don't know if I should make any like resolutions. I, I don't know. I don't want to. I want to be. I want to be more productive here. So that is a resolution for 2020. More productive. You heard it here first. Hold me accountable. You hold me accountable. I know you will. You. Currently about two hours away from the final leg of my trip here. It's going to be a 27, 28 hour total time here. And I am a couple hours away from boarding my third flight from Santiago, Chile, down to Puerto Natales, Chile, which is in the, I believe, southernmost, or it's in the southern region, but I, I'm trying to remember if you can get a, a flight, a commercial flight further south than that. Um, I know you cannot get one closer to Patagonia than that. So that's where I'm currently at. I met my father yesterday. Sat down for a couple hours, had a beer and caught up. Had been about 15 years. And now I am waiting here. Probably going to doze off. Set an alarm. An interesting airport. Very light. Oh, Santiago. Uh... Just a lot of light, a lot of, I like it. Good energy. <laughs> I don't speak a word of, it, of Spanish, but I think I know where I'm going. And I'm so tired. This is exhausting. Thank God this next flight's three hours and that's it. Three hours and that's it. And then I will commence Operation Butterfly. <laughs> so grand. <laughs> you didn't know where I came from. <laughs> Get me a camera ready. I was going on an open-ended backpacking solo trip through South America starting in Colombia. So, and we started dating shortly before I left on this solo backpacking trip. We'd also known each other for a long time known before each other. that. Correct. Um, oh. Thank you. I like being right <laughs> you sometimes. You are correct. <laughs> so I started my trip and then you, about four weeks later, came down to visit me while I was in Colombia. And this is where Operation Butterfly was hatched. It came out of its cocoon and was forged in the fire of romance. Oh! <laughs> wow! That might be the title of this video. Forge in the <laughs> fires of romance. Of love. One of the last nights I was there, we were talking about what another visit looks like. Mm -hmm. And sort of in the moment, I realized with all the other shit that sort of has been swirling for the last year, couple years even, and really the last five, six years of my life, which is one of the last dominoes to drop was, while I love the people that I met along the way, I love the people that I work with, I don't, I didn't love my career. Mm -hmm. So, while talking to you on the beach, the fucking waves right at our feet. Literally, a, right there. At night, there's a candle going. I'm sipping a Corona. Some bachata playing in the background. Exa whatever she cor said, exactly. Coronita. A corn, cor cor coronita. Yeah, a mini little, Corona. A little Corona. Yeah, a little Corona. <laughs> and in the moment when I had offered up, maybe I could spend a few weeks, and I think I said to you, what if I didn't have a boss? And I think that question had been brewing in my mind somewhere in my subconscious for years, like maybe even, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine years, which is, again, love the people I met along the way, have some lifelong friendships, but the actual day-to-day -day work was nothing that I really signed up for back in 2001 as something I wanted to do for the rest of my life. You're just looking for a good excuse. Yeah. To uh, say see ya. Uh, Bye. What's the word I'm looking for? Maybe not excuse, a... Reason? Inspiration, but yeah. further than that. Um, um, what's the word? Nudge. A nudge. <laughs> I was looking for a nudge. I don't know what that, th that's not that what is. nudging is. That's just like, <laughs> let me just fisting? fist you into change. <laughs> hey, yeah. 2019, you're the fist. So yeah, that's Operation Butterfly in a nutshell. What's yeah. this plan? 
a catalyst. Mm. The relationship was a catalyst for change that I'd always wanted to make. All I needed was a very tiny push to realize like- Yeah, it really wasn't much. <laughs> right, <laughs> not even just like here. I'm just making stuff that I enjoy making. And if somebody out there can relate or thinks, hey man, you're full of shit. I don't actually, here's why I disagree with you. Go ahead and let me know. Channel update. I get so sick of my videos toward the end. I'm already sick of this video. I'm not even done with it yet. Channel update. Gotta bring the energy. Thanks. I made eight fucking videos in a year and a half. That's ridiculous. It actually is really embarrassing when I say it out loud. Like I feel really shitty about it. Starting Tuesday, so in a couple days, uh, we have rented a truck and we are going to, for 30 days, and we are gonna drive from Southern Chile, north through Patagonia, and cut over to Argentina, and essentially travel through Southern Argentina to Buenos Aires, and then from there, I'm doing this, <laughs> from there, head west, back to Santiago, Chile, and turn in our rental vehicle, and then see what happens. Moving forward, I'm just gonna document. So it could be quick videos, could be a 90 second video, some area of the world that we're in. Um, I just wanna be clear about that. So I can hold myself accountable, so that I'm sitting there in the back of a pickup truck or a fucking hotel room, and I'm editing and I'm going crazy and I'm trying to rework something. You can remind me, you can remind me, who gives a shit, just upload, move on. I think that's really important for somebody like me. Um, thoughts? To be continued. That's how I wanted to end it. TPC. Is that, I don't know why I keep, is that a thing? I'm just really pumped about it. You seem pumped. I'm really you pumped about. You wanna do like a little jump or, you wanna do one of your dances? Oh, you wanna show everybody oh, one of your. Shit. This is my, uh, I, I gotta come up with a, a fresh to be continued dance. Oh man, I'm on the spot, I can't do it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, like I wanna like, I wanna hit you with something like kinda naughty. Like make you feel like a little almost like, not safe, a little dangerous. Like, oh, naughty dance, and kind of come back and be like, what? I just picture in a year, like the wind just like, like going through my hair, right? Right. That's what I want for myself. <laughs> <laughs>